Hello, this is one of the Take 5 series, and this particular Take 5 will be focusing on creating a learning module in Blackboard. A learning module can be thought of as a collection of items and activities and contents that are focused and broken down by week, a specific subject, or topic. Students can navigate at their own pace through a learning module. The learning module can be structured and set up that the students can view the content sequentially or set up so they can view the content in any order. Let's create a learning module now. The first thing I want you to do is make sure your edit mode is turned to on so you can create an edit. Then we're going to go over here to the big blue button with the plus sign and we're going to come over and create content area and there's lots of ways to do this and I'm going to call this content area learning modules I'm going to make sure I click on the available to users checkbox and I'm going to submit now I have a blank learning module content area there's nothing in it so I'm going to click inside of the learning modules content area again it's blank this is where I can start building my content and this is where I'm going to start to build my learning module. So I'm going to come over here to the build content button and I'm going to move down until I see learning module and I'm going to click on that and I'm going to be creating my first learning module. I'm going to come over here scroll down a little bit I'm going to name it. Now what I always like to do when I'm training a cohort is have them get started with building a getting started learning module. And another good practice that we believe helps students is to be able to put information on the outside of the learning module. For instance, contents include and then you could start listing them, listing the different activities overview, threaded discussion, and I'm going to just use the text box editor to make bullet points. So when you have your description of what's inside of the learning module, you can come down here and look at some of the settings. Permit users to view content, yes. You could select date and time restrictions. Here's where you're going to decide on the type of learning module you have. Are you going to enforce sequential viewing? You could say no and that way the students can go through the learning module sequentially but they also have the option of going out of order and clicking on the various activities. I'm going to keep it no for open a new window and track number of views. You can click on yes then your performance dashboard will also indicate how many times the students have viewed this learning module. So then I'm going to come down here to number four and I'm going to um, show table of contents and you can decide on the hierarchy display. You can change it even after you have submitted and created this particular style of learning module. I'm going to come over here and click on submit and there we have our learning module created. In order to keep all the activities and the assessments and the interactive tools inside of the learning module, you're going to have to click inside. So you're going to go into the link, click inside, and then you'll have the same build buttons. And here you can get started to develop your learning module. I hope you enjoy. Uh, learning modules are a very powerful way to organize your um, content and your activities for the students. Uh, you can use learning modules whether you use an enhancement shell or a fully online course. Uh, they're very powerful ways to collect and keep all the contents in one area so the students can go to that one learning module whether it's broken down by weeks, topics, or subjects. So thank you very much.